Today we're going to be installing eGlide Goodies Ultra Brace for Tour Packs, which includes the brace arm mechanism, brackets, back plates, install hardware, and installation instructions. And the tools we're going to need, a drill, a Torx wrench, a small wrench, and a small ruler. Let's get started. Step one is to install a back plate on the body of the Tour Pack. Open the Tour Pack lid, open the pouch to give us some clearance to work. And we're going to be installing this back plate in the same location as this one, but on this side of the tour pack. Position the top edge of the back plate three quarters of an inch from the top edge of the tour pack. After the back plate has been positioned, hold it steady with your left hand, and we're going to drill our first hole in the top right corner of the back plate. To drill the remaining holes, we're going to install this back plate just finger tight to help us locate the other three holes and use the back plate as a guideline. After the second hole, install the second screw and nut, just finger tight, and that's going to allow us to steady the back plate more to drill the remaining two holes. Install the third screw and nut, again just finger tight. And drill the final hole. Now remove the back plate and screws. Okay, there are two brackets for the inside of the tour pack, one with a 20 degree angle, one with a 5 degree angle. We're going to want to use that shallower angle for the bottom of the tour pack body. Now install the bracket and back plate using four of the longer screws provided in the kit, along with a lock washer and nut. Go ahead and hand tighten all four. After all four have been hand tightened, go ahead and secure with the Allen wrench and the small wrench. The next step is to install the second back plate onto the lid of the tour pack. Close the lid, position the second back plate directly above the first back plate and 1 8 inch from the radius of the lip. Hold the back plate steady and drill your first hole in the right hand corner of the back plate. Next, install the final bracket and back plate using four of the longer screws, lock washers, and nuts. Next, we're going to install the brace arm. First, place one of the wave washers on the bottom bracket. Install the brace arm on the bottom bracket. Then, using the hardware stack up with screw, wave washer, washer, and lock washer, attach that to the bottom bracket. Just hand tighten for now. Next, we install the brace arm onto the top bracket. 
place a wave washer under the top bracket, place the brace arm under the top bracket, push into place, and using the hardware and stack up with screw, wave washer, washer, and lock washer, attach that to the top bracket. Secure tightly with the Allen wrench. Now secure the bottom screw with the Allen wrench. The final step is to remove the stock Torpak cable using your Torx wrench. Okay, we're done. Close and open the Torpak lid just to make sure the brace is not binding. Go ahead and check out the locking mechanism. Make sure it's working properly. And there you go.